Hello everyone, how's it going? So today we are looking into sentiment analysis using NLTK. Now, what is sentiment analysis? It's nothing but understanding the positivity or negativity of a sentence. So, ex give an example. Customers leave reviews for different companies or you can go on Google and leave a review. You can send a tweet. So these are all messages which are floating around the internet and companies are interested in understanding what the sentiments are, especially for their customers so that they understand whether the product is working in a positive direction or in a negative direction. Now they don't have the time to swift through all the reviews and all the text and understand what is going on. Rather, they use these machine learning libraries that can help them in understanding the overall picture of the reviews. So that's where sentiment analysis comes in and it's a very popular tool these days. So we'll look into see and how we can develop our own. So um, if you're new to this channel and if it's something that is helping you, do consider subscribing. And if you like this video, do leave a like. And if you're running into any issues or if you need any help or if there are any projects that you are interested in, do leave a comment and we'll be happy to look into it for you. So for this particular project, we are going to be using a library called as Text Blob, which is right here. And I'll show you where I'm getting that from. So there is this GitHub repository by a user by the name Sloria, Sloria Text Blob, and they have open sourced this text blob library. So it's a very nice library. And in the previous videos, video which if you haven't seen, I go over the basics of NLTK, which is tokenization, stemming, and limitizing. So there are, there are different parts that we looked over in the previous video already. And this library, this text blob library allows us more to do most of it, but more. So you can see it allows us to do sentiment analysis, classification, non-phrase extraction, part of speech are all basics, which are already part of NLTK. In fact, this library is based on NLTK and they also used pattern. So you can see it does parsing, n-grams, word inflection, spelling correction, word net integration. So they have quite a bit of things going on in this library. And I particularly went into sentiment analysis and spelling correction for our video today. Let's see how we can do this. And if you're running it on a computer, you can always use text blob by doing pip install text blob. But if you're doing it on a collab, you don't need to. A text blob already comes installed. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take a tweet from Donald Trump's latest tweet. So if you go into the Twitter account, you can see Donald Trump has this new tweet, which uh, it's a retweeted tweet. It says the great election fraud in history is about to happen. This may top the Democrats illegally spying on my campaign. So let's use this tweet and understand what the polarity and what the sentiment comes out to be. So we'll use that here. So you can see text one is the greatest selection. So that's the same tweet from Donald Trump and we just copy pasted it here. And the second tweet is Roger is the best boy in his class. And now this is just random text to show what a positive statement should look like. So Roger is the best boy. It's nothing but a positive statement and it's uh, stating that in his class. So let's run this so that we can save these two text files. The next is we are importing the text blob and the text blob should be imported in a capital text in a camel fashion, camel text fashion. So you can see text in T and B are capital. So you make sure you do that. And the second step is to define those text blobs. So you're defining, so I'm giving Trump one as a text blob one. So I'm defining text blob as text one and a random text blob, which uh, which is for our, uh, the second text because it's a random text and which we created and we're just calling it as text blob text two. So now I'm just uh, printing. So you can do Trump one dot sentiment and random dot sentiment and it should return and print the sentiments and the sentiment is given by two of by two uh, variables one is the polarity which is nothing but the positivity or negativity of the sentence the second it gives in the form of subjectivity how subjective the sentence is subjective means uh, or, or sentence or sentence being subjective means it's a vague and it's not precise it's not giving exact details and if, if, if when you say a subject is objective, then in the opposite of subjective is objective, 
which means that the sentence precisely describes what they're talking about. So say, for example, you have a sentence about a person, say Roger. I'm saying Roger is best in his class. Now, I'm not saying what kind of a class it is. I'm not saying Roger is, is probably in his biology class or in his psychology class. I'm not defining any, any particular perspective, particular uh, objective of the class. So I'm just saying that he's good in his class. Now, that class could be a class of friends, a class of you know, mates or a class of people in the bus. So it could be anything. So that that becomes the, sub, the statement becomes very subjective and very vague and anyone reading it can take in its own sense so the reader or the uh, the person who's saying can have their own sense of understanding for it so that's where subjective and objective comes in now without that so let's go ahead and run this and it should give us the polarity and subjectivity so you can see the donald trump's post has about 0.29 polarity and subjectivity of 0.66 now what does that mean the polarity can range from anywhere between minus one to plus one so a plus one means it's a very highly positive statement and a minus now one statement means that it's a very negative statement subjectivity could be anywhere from zero to one so 0 0.3 means that it's a subjective statement of 0 0.3 which is a little on the lower lower end and this is stating 0 0.66 because it has higher subjectivity because the statement from donald trump explains that it's an election fraud and it's coming from the democrats so it's describing exactly what it's looking for what uh, what he wanted to say so that's why the subjectivity is on a higher scale for donald trump now that's that gives us an understanding of the polarity and the subjectivity so this is just a basic example in the next video we will see how we can automatically extract these uh, twitter tweets and then do sentiment analysis on them so you can do a simple twitter sentiment analysis for your own projects now the next step is to do a spelling correction so i have this sentence which is purposefully have a wrong spelling you can see i speak good english you have a problem so you there is a spelling there's got to be a spelling mistakes here so at least three the no spelling of speak good and problem has spellings mistakes in it so i'm defining this again as a blob and now i'm printing the correct spelling so i'm saying spelling mistakes dot correct and then this correct is a function which corrects the spelling and then prints and then using the print statement we are printing it so let's do this so if we print you can see that it has corrected the spelling it is saying i speak good english you have a problem so that's how it's able to re read and detect the right spelling for us so with that we come to the conclusion of sentiment analysis so with uh, this is a very basic project and sentiment analysis to be honest has already been covered by the text plot project but if we were to develop our own text uh, sentiment analysis we can either do it by two methods one is the machine learning approach and one is the normal counting approach and uh, if you are interested let me know i can make, make a video on that and explain how this understands and how this goes about but it's very simple and we can also see how the machine learning aspect of it works but if that yeah if it interests you do leave a comment and i'll be happy to go into another video of that so with that i come to the conclusion of this video you guys take care stay safe bye bye